When a bird takes flight, it is one of the most complex methods of movement in the animal kingdom. A bird simply cannot fly without falling or leaping first. I find this quite beautiful and settling all at once, hence turning to flight mode at my worst. I had already done the falling and believe in the medicine of talking, or moving, or writing, or even singing, another thing we can learn from birds. How are you? you asked. How could I tell you my chest was a titanic and I didn't want to let myself drown anymore? Not knowing the most assembled together of things are the most aesthetic, as that is where the light can come through the cracks. That is why my heart can be shattered into so many different pieces and still make a whole mosaic. How could I fit that into a minute, three or five? I was in that room with you and we were nothing short of alive. The boundaries of numbers but free for that time. Where are you? you asked. I'm not arrived yet, but neither was a bird when it took flight, and you are here listening to my pulse sounding like it was in a fight with a punching bag, hoping that I land soon to avoid jet lag. I have planted myself in a pot of pansies, hoping for bloom. When my mother was absent, I watched myself grow in a different womb. You'll find me learning the ways of the breeze and how it complements the trees. I'll be at that branch hanging wind chimes ready for the fall. Seasons can teach us about that and all, not just birds. What do you know? you asked. I can stop here and love all that I have the ability to, even when I'm not ready for the moon, even when the air is second-hand smoke. I know that happiness is found in pockets of kids on the playground, sticky lolly sticks and multicoloured Lego bricks. Call it something like honey that the hummingbird sips from its beak. Do you think that nature has it all figured out? I want to believe I can win at rock, paper, scissors. Paper always goes over rock and that's simple. Like playing with that yellow Lego block or doing the Tadasana pose in yoga. It's just standing and it makes me feel better when I feel a shell of a mountain. Flight mode has helped me pick out moments of gold, a ductile metal that is naturally occurring, but not all get to see it in its true form. You see, my form was that of an igloo, and I thought I couldn't have it any other way. I was wrong. Through the art of flight, I found myself flourishing, soaring without recognising it. It also taught me that it was okay to be wrong, and that I was a greenhouse all along. I realised I was free-flowing with the tide and its elements, a greenhouse in colour with all its developments.